amount of times I've seen people mess their own art up by just all of a sudden getting like insecure, or like, oh, or like, is the internet gonna view this word wrong? I gotta change this lyric, or this like, oh, I don't know about this, or I don't know about that, and it's like, it's like, you're just thinking now. Yeah, the this thinking is like, trap. What, you wrote this part when you were feeling. Yes. And now Absolutely. you're thinking. Because the stakes, and the higher the stakes get, the more people are pulled into this uh, realm of thinking and not feeling. Yes. So I've seen a lot of artists that were like earlier in their career, just in their feeling phase, and then they get signed or this and that, and all the stakes get raised, and now they're thinking. That's exactly. And their, music, that's and their exactly art falls off it. a cliff. Yeah. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. It happened. It happened. It's happened over and over again in the past for me. Like even my first major label deal, mm -hmm. it was like I got signed off this song that completely felt, completely mm -hmm. intuition, flow, yeah. beautiful, like just over this like orchestra mm -hmm. thing. Got signed, and then I was like, okay, now I have to make songs yeah. that are popular. Yeah. And just blew it all up by thinking about it all. Yeah. And I think in my journey, like thinking has blocked me so much. Mm -hmm. Getting stuck in like, oh yeah, the house of spells. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, because your thoughts are, like everyone said, your thoughts create reality and it is true. Mm -hmm. And then if you're thinking in this like, this box of your mind, you, you're not open and receptive to like all these other things that you couldn't think of. This is the downward spiral right here. Oh. You gotta go down to go up sometimes. Life yeah. is like a way. Especially when you climb up the hill. Especially when you... <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, secret codes. <laughs> but when I was a kid, there was like hills like this and I had this thing called a dirt board. It was like these big old wheels and you could like skateboard down these hills. It was awesome. And there was like, um, like, uh, that what are they called? dangerous. Yeah, super dangerous. <laughs> I would. I had a. I had a yellow lab growing up named Tessie, and she would pull me on my skateboard through the trails. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she was like huge. Uh, old Tessie. Old Tessie. Uh, so what's next for you? What's next? Are you even thinking about what's next? Not really lately. Lately, I've been doing my best to be very present and enjoying where I'm at now. I think for a lot of my life, I lived in the future, mainly. I'm like, well, when I get this, I'll be good. Or when I'm successful in this way. And I'm really, I'm really enjoying now and and like observing the way I feel settling back becoming like becoming comfortable in silence too like silence in my thoughts and and around others I think like the 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 feeling of needing to be liked like at a root level, um, made that difficult for a long time. And now I think I'm just being me more. How long did you go without playing a show? Oh, excuse Hello. Um, I saw you at the Troubadour a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah. I mean, before that, Three years. What did it feel like to be playing these new songs? Different than ever. The vibe at that show was amazing. It was so beautiful. You know what I, you know what I noticed about, about that show and, and playing the new songs was the, the human beings in that audience, like I didn't feel like I was at a show in LA at the Troubadour <laughs> at all. Like it was, it was people who were just like radiating light and positivity and like, I was just, it was beautiful. I, I felt like 
Um, I don't know what I felt like. But it was amazing. Words are weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to play these songs live because they're, they feel like very beyond me. What is like, um, this is the interview phase of this journey for you. <laughs> okay. So how do you feel about the internet now after, because it, it seems like from the outside that you're approaching the internet with this album in like a very different way than I've ever seen it be done before. But you're also like, you have a, you have a song that is talking about the woes of the internet. Yeah. So how, how like, how have you been able to kind of like make that feel right with you? Dude, it's, it's the duality of everything. Like, the internet is amazing. The internet is, is, I mean, like, in one week, we get more information and, and knowledge than our grandparents got in their lifetime. You know, like, you can watch videos on YouTube and, and listen to podcasts or, you know, whatever, if you choose to. Um, but it's a double-edged sword because you're getting like as much negativity and stuff too. Um, I, I'm fascinated with the internet and, you know, like now dove into this uploading my consciousness to an AI and we just launched the Jaguar Twin Metaverse where you can talk with this AI and built this whole game where like fans can play it and, and discover like really pieces of themselves and it's like such a beautiful thing I mean like Jaguar Twin all this everything we talk about is duality like the 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 internet is my friend but it wants me dead <laughs> you know have you ever thought about because I do all the time living a life of like no information because like yes Almost every human who's ever been born or died knew nothing about anything. Like, and they had to invent things to, yeah. to find peace with that. Like, we're one of the, the few humans ever to look up at the stars and the moon and have like an explanation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like really. an explanation that's at least rooted in evidence, science. You know what I mean? Like, right. Although, uh, but like... Sometimes, like, the mythologies of the, like, you talk about Apollo, the sun god, or, yeah. or, you know, whatever, Isis, and you're like, the stories are brilliant and complex. It's just like, yeah. they were told in, in more of, like, a poetic way to understand, like, what this cycle was. Right. And it's like, we have, like, scientific measurements. Yes. But, That's, but, the but thing maybe is like, at the expense of the intuitive, like, well, what does that mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes I fantasize about a life where everything is wrapped up in mythology. Yeah, right. Um, where, you know, do you really benefit by knowing that the universe just goes forever? You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that a benefit to know that? I mean, just... Being able to look up at the stars and not feel so small, but you know, it's very interesting to think about what it would be like to walk along these fields and have like no explanation of why this grass is growing the yeah. way it is, you know? Yeah, I love like, you know, like, monks will be like, well, you can learn every secret of the universe and looking at a flower. And I always thought that was like, oh, it's so dumb. Like, you know, when I was a kid, like, no, you can't. But then... It all scales up. It all scales up. Like you were saying earlier, everything is everything. It's all just fractals of the same thing. Like, you could look at the way that a tree grows from seed to then that seed, like, cracking open, sprouting up, needing the proper balance of the four elements, you know? And it's like, what are the four elements? And, and then, like, well, why are those like fire being 
consciousness, water being emotion, air being thought, earth being like the physical reality you can touch or whatever. There's like levels and layers and layers and layers upon layers. And you really can, like you just look at a flower for a while, like, whoa, the way that this thing grows and then has to sprout, reach its peak, get put off offspring, seeds die, and then re- get reborn from itself. Like, this is crazy. Sometimes I think that like, because the universe goes on forever, like distance is irrelevant because it just goes on forever. So there's no scale. You can't quantify it. Yeah. Therefore, the size doesn't even really exist. Yeah, totally. In the same way, you can just keep zooming in. Right. You can zoom out forever and zoom in forever. Yes. So it's like scale doesn't even really matter. No. So it's when like, I think that way, I don't feel so small. Yeah, because you can think about... <laughs> that's that's sweet. You can think about it as we're so small. Or you can think about it as we're so enormous. <laughs> You know, it's like if, if, if we were a cell in God's body, it's like, oh, I'm a white blood cell, you're a red blood cell, then we're, then we're yeah. tiny, but then like our own blood cells are like little sentient things too. Yeah, when I'm driving around LA and I'm seeing the, the white or the red brake lights and then the white... Uh, front lights. I'm like, yeah. damn it! I'm just a, <laughs> oh, a I'm just a blood cell in this weird, crazy machine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, you yeah, think... the free, the 101 is just this weird vein that I took to it's get up vein. here. It's a vein. Yeah. It's, <laughs> when you go through like, um, like flying over LAX, it like looks like veins, or right? like yeah. flying over anything. The city's got <laughs> veins. And we organize ourselves into the patterns of the entire universe. Just Naturally. Naturally. We think we're doing something conscious and strategic, yet we just uh, uh, arrange ourselves in the same fractal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As sure. that flowers. Yeah, really. Y- you know, so. Uh, I have a, an issue where I'll just, instead of going out and being social and doing things, I'm just like, I'm just going to sit here and wonder about stuff. Dude, I do that all the time. I love <laughs> sitting and wondering. I'm like, when you have a good imagination and you like to wander, it's like... Oh, dude. It's like... Who needs friends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, damn, if I don't go out and like... Yeah. I have this, to force myself to go out. Yeah, I'm always I, running... I, I can journey in my imagination yeah. by did, myself. Do you ever sit there and you're like, okay, is this event going to be more entertaining than me sitting mind. here and just thinking about <laughs> things that you can never get answers to. Yeah, I do. But, but sometimes you get answers. That's the coolest part is like you go into meditate and you're like, oh, I just realized this thing. And then where does that come from? You only get answers if you're willing to have faith in your answers. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, it definitely does. And it's like, <laughs> and, and before that, it's like I have to empty, like, I don't know anything. Right. Because as soon as you feel like you know, then your cup is full. You don't have room to receive any, like, new information. (sighs) They say when you're walking, it really helps your cognition. Really? So, like, the great scientists would go on walks to try to discover, like, new theories. Does something like the blood flow in your brain or something... But. That makes a lot of sense because I write, I didn't think that it was a, like a thing like that, but I write a lot of lyrics. I go on walks like around my house and I just do my lyrics that way or like get song ideas. I'll listen to instrumentals and like, that's interesting. I guess there's science behind the intuition. Yeah. And eventually an apple falls on your head. Yeah. And you discover and, gravity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I haven't seen the sunrise in a while, so thank you for letting me be a part of this thing. I appreciate you getting up so early and coming on this walk. Yeah, it's kind of a reminder for me. It's like, I shouldn't be saying I haven't seen the sunrise in a while, you know? Because it's one of, one of the gifts. It's the first gift of the day, I guess. It's the first gift of the day. Are you a sun... So, I'm saying... I'm thinking you're a, a sun... So... One thing that I know about you is you wake up really early. Yeah, I haven't been as much 
Okay, you're because, off of it. Because the studio schedule is getting late. Right. And so... It's hard to get the rest of the world to adhere to I know. going to sleep at 8 p.m. and waking up at no, 4. Really. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. But you feel so it, good though. doing it. You oh feel gosh. so good. It feels so natural. Yeah, it really does. But the rest of the world's in this paradigm of like, let's watch Netflix until 1 a.m. 2 a.m., yeah. I've been there. Yep. And you never see the sunrise. Never see the sunrise. Yeah, I've been watching Arcane till 2 a.m. Is that a show? I've never heard of that. That's a, yeah, <laughs> it's a new Netflix. Damn, they got you. They got they you got, back. They got me, dude. You escaped I got, the Matrix, and now you're now back. I got sucked back into the Matrix. It's good though, because me and my friend talk about how you know, cinema or film, TV. It's like the it's like the end game of art because it combines everything: visual, yeah. music, acting, like codes of the universe. Yeah, everything has to come everything, together to. Yeah. To make a movie. Yeah, I think I think especially like if you're comparing being an actor or being an artist, I think being an actor allows for a potentially um, quicker consciousness expansion. Because I think I think maybe to be an actor, to be like a good actor, you need to know yourself even deeper earlier yeah. than to be a good musician or yeah, artist. You have to literally go into, try, like, figure out a way to go into that flow state under the most strangest conditions. circumstances. Yeah. yeah. And it's like every part of the way you look, the way your voice sounds, you have to memorize, it's like memorize lines and then be able to like forget all that and know mm. yourself well enough that you can become someone else. Right. Uh, must feel nice. <laughs> what? Just that feeling of like being Daniel Day Lewis, like <laughs> bludgeoning <laughs> someone with a with a, a bowling ball pin, and just the complete flow state <laughs> of their craft being one of the greatest masters. Yeah. Uh, to to achieve that that level of mastery over one's craft or that's how I feel sometimes when I get really uh and what I do like I remember we have videos of me mixing soul as a star dude just out on the console just like, oh man that's where I get there yep and when you get to the point where it's like you spent your whole life trying to get good at something yeah and then now you're channeling you can do that yeah in the same way that you said you were channeling lyrics Yep. I'll channel the emotion and have a song. And then you start at something that doesn't give you goosebumps. And you end at something that gives you goosebumps. Yes. And you're like, how did that happen? That's crazy. And it was so much fun. Dude, that's the best feeling in the world. Like, when I can get into a vocal booth and it's like, okay, I, I've worked on my craft for long enough where I, can, I know I can, like, sing this thing and then also get into that mode, that flow, that character, whatever I'm doing. And it's like, sometimes I'm like yelling in the studio, like, yes! <laughs> like, as if I was playing to a stadium full of people, because I know it's just like, you're, you're like fully in yourself in the truest sense in those moments of flow. Uh, it's, it's wild what we can achieve when we're, when we're in that place. Yeah. Those are when you feel like everything's possible, those moments. I have this this friend that would always say, I would say these like sarcastic things or I would be like, I would say things that were obviously not true and they would believe me. And I'm like, how could you believe that? And she was like, I believe in the endless possibilities of the universe. And I've just, I've stolen that line now. Yeah, so. Dude, I love you. I love you too. Thank you for everything. Oh, thank you for having me out here. Thank you for believing in me. Oh yeah, that I definitely do. Thank you for believing in yourself. That's the biggest thing. Hey Sam, it's been beautiful <laughs> to watch you blossom. Yes, let's continue. The grand blossoming. The grand blossoming. <laughs> <laughs>